like waking up earlier than you would have to buy active wear. <sighs> but that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go buy some Whitney active wear at 8 a.m. Also, we love getting back from vacation and my computer is just freaking out. It is freaking out. This is sometimes why I don't like some of these like drops or like everyone hyping them up because you feel like you're not gonna get what you want if you don't buy it the exact time it drops, which is a tad problematic, but. Yeah, I might just have to buy it on my phone because this is just not happening. We get two minutes. It is nighttime and I honestly normally don't film in the dark like this, but my Whitney, Whitney V5, the final collection. Even though, am I the only one, am I not the only one who's skeptical about when like people are like, this is the last time. I guess when like influencer creator people say, this is the last time. I like never believe them. I don't believe them. But this is supposedly, everyone has said this is the last Whitney collection. I just got my package, not just. It came a few hours ago. I need to charge my camera battery because it was dead. I ordered this, you would have seen yesterday. Wait. Today's Friday. Thursday, yes, yesterday I ordered it at 8 a.m. It got to my house Friday at like five. I live in Orange County. There has to be a warehouse somewhere around here because not even a full 24 hours? No, wait, it was a full 20. Not even a full 48 hours? Anywho, we're gonna do some first impressions before we get to the big review. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a lot. I was just between the colors, I'm gonna be honest. I bought like so much, but I am intending on returning at least one set because I was really between the pink and the red color, the petal pink and the canyon red, and I couldn't decide, so I decided to order both and see which I like better on me and then return one. I'm so excited for the t-shirts. I've literally been thinking I wanted something like this. Okay, I like, they're definitely like more sweat wicking, like spandex on the inside, and a little bit more brushed on the outside, love that. I will say without comparing it to the last collection I have of hers, they do feel a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie. But this is just based off my memory of feel. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh, she's cute. I'm excited. And I have decided if you've watched my channel at all, or follow me on Instagram, you probably know I have this Balance Athletica green set that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's one of my favorite sets I own. I've had it for years. So I thought I needed another green set. So this guy we're for sure keeping because I just love green. And I almost didn't get it because I was like, well, I already own a green set. And I'm like, but I wear it constantly, so. Because also the Whitney Times Gymshark is one of my, the set that I have, it's one of my all time favorite leggings that I've ever had. So I was like, okay, if this is really the last one, like I need to stock up. So I am planning on keeping two of the sets. So yeah, I basically got these three items in three colors. And then we're gonna feel for the first time the eyelash material. Cause I'm not gonna lie. I saw this and I was like, mm, not for me not for me but i had to order and try it like i had to try it so based on first impressions i picked it up expecting it to be way softer this once i put it on my skin it feels a little softer but my first impressions was this will be itchy no way it's not itchy these are the eyelash like fuzzy shorts my hopes are not high but i wanted to try them i wanted to try them i could not you know i don't know yeah i don't know really soft is over here and itchy is here i thought it'd be like here but it's like here in my opinion okay so those are my first impressions we will do a full try on and i'm gonna work out in it and the whole thing hopefully tomorrow full review right after this <laughs> what what were you saying? I just wanted to know what it was. 
their shorts and a bandeau. Did you work out in them? No. Okay, that makes a lot of more sense. You hang out in them, but do you think they're cute? They seem long. <laughs> they seem long. So the, the, here's, here's an example. Here's a, here, let me give you let me give you a real example. Okay. So for instance, in California right now it's fifty to forty five degrees right now. Mm -hmm. A little chilly. So I put on a beanie that doesn't cover my full head. <laughs> so I was like, why put it on? Is it for style? Is your head actually cold? Is your head cold? You know? Not really. My nose is cold. I'm You're wearing a beanie cold. and shorts. Yeah, and I'm wearing shorts. You know. So it's like, if you put this on, like, are you going to Big Bear? <laughs> yeah, probably not. So it's like gloves with holes in them, <laughs> you know, like for your fingers. Like yeah. You probably, you probably need the other thing. Not just well, I'm not fingers. convinced about them. I think they're not going to be. Now, cute. if these were like pants, or like um. What do you think? Of, do you think the material's sure. soft or itchy? I haven't, I haven't put it on yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, the outside is itchy. But the inside's soft. Mm. You know? This gives me, like, Balenciaga Dior type vibe. Hmm. This, Maybe like, that's what this, they like, want. Gymshark be you, man. <laughs> Okay, so here are all my thoughts after working out in the set. So when Whitney revealed this collection in her own YouTube video, she described this workout set as a light upper body day or maybe a mobility stretching day set. But honestly, I really disagree. I think this set held up amazing for my full body workout today. While it was mostly lifting, we did do jump squats and everything like that. And I was so impressed by this waistband and how well it stood up. Like I barely had to adjust it once. And this set is just so compressive. I think it is a great workout set for lifting, Pilates. Honestly, we did jump squats today and it was awesome. So I think this is way more than a light upper body day or mobility set. I think you can do most activities in it. I just wouldn't necessarily run in this set if it was me. They're the same legging. Interesting, <laughs> Lorna Jane from two years ago. Just came out on Thursday. Now on to the real review part of this video. Like I said, this have come, this stuff came so quick. I'm trying to turn around this video real quick. So we are literally chasing the sunset. So far this video feels like more vloggy than my normal reviews do. So not sure how it's gonna turn out in post, but it feels more cash for me. So let me know if you like that style better, if you really like me put together. Um, Cause my hair's still wet. I try to get put together. Like I said, I'm chasing the sun. I had all day to film this and I chose right before to first realize my bronzer doesn't look that good to, to film it. So without further ado, we're gonna get right on into it. So as you would have seen, I worked down the green set today, filmed the, me wearing this. So I can basically talk about almost all the other pieces. Oh, that's the old stuff. All the other pieces I have because it's all the same stuff, just in different colors. And like I said, I had bought Whitney's V3 collection, these two sets, and these are one of my favorite like sets of all times. I love them so much. I love the material. So a quick material comparison feel. I would say like, obviously I've had these, I think for over a year. I can't remember when she launched it, but just comparing the two, like I said, in the initial reaction, they feel different. Like I, I don't know if they're the same fabric composition. I scoured the internet trying to find the fabric composition because these are no longer on Gymshark's website. So I couldn't find the fabric composition. And I even made a video about this and I'm cursing old me for not putting the fabric compositions on the screen. Cause I, this is one of my complaints about the Whitney Gymshark is the tags are so itchy. So I cut them out, which means I cut out what the fabric composition is. So I don't know if they're the same or different, but totally based on feel, again, these are older. These feel more sleek. These feel more um, brushed. And again, the inside and the outside are different on both of these. So the inside, the liner is even more sleek than the outside. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I can't tell if they're the same or not. I don't know. I would say these feel more sleek, maybe because they're newer, maybe because they're actually sleeker. The best way I can compare this material to, if you're familiar with Lululemon, is a thinner, stretchier, 
Everlux. So the material is very stretchy, but it's also very compressive. It feels like it holds you in really, really well. I really like the detailing at the top, actually. Um, and I'm not a huge pocket girl unless they're running leggings. And for me, these are not running leggings because they are brushed on the outside, even if it's ever so slightly brushed. Like brushing is what causes pilling. And so I don't run in brushed leggings. I'm kind of meh about the pockets. It does have the booty scrunch here, which is like the smallest little elastane piece in here, which those have been in all the Whitney collection thus far. It just makes the slightest difference. And maybe the slightest difference is a world of a difference, but I'm not here to tell that. You can figure that out yourself. Um, in this collection, she went with really minimal detailing as you would have seen where in her past collections, there have been these gold bars, which honestly, I really like the gold bars, especially in the shorts. Like I said, I love the Whitney Gymshark and Gymshark doesn't do anything else like this. And it's really interesting because people ask me about those sets at the gym or even today at the gym. They're like, oh, where's that from? And I'm like, oh, it's from Gymshark. But because the like ladies that all go to my gym, they're like in their 30s, 40s, they're not really in the Instagram, YouTube, fitness community. So if I'm like, it's Whitney times Gymshark, it's different. They will understand that. If you're planning on buying from Gymshark outside of the Whitney collection, Gymshark does not do anything like this. The closest thing I found is like the training leggings, which I did a little review on. And those were like disappointing and just didn't feel compressive enough. So I love the Whitney. Gymshark and I knew I was gonna love these pieces. Some other details to note on the top without just seeing it because there's so many reviews just showing them um, and I don't want to be redundant. If you're looking for someone just to walk you through the pieces, this isn't the video, but if you want the honest review about the pieces, this is here. So I'm pretending you already know what they look like, I guess. I mean, just look at them. They look like the material on the top and the shirts are all the same. Nobody I feel like talked about this. This while some people don't like this is very plush. So it's really hard to tell, but it's very thick so it's a plush material here so it actually makes this really really comfortable which i was very pleasantly surprised about i will say they are very tight and compressive and i did notice like lines on my body after i wore them but while i wouldn't do any running in this i would do like pilates or lifting or like just low intensity stuff in general it does make the girls look really good and i was really impressed with how large the pad of the this is the the cut padding the cut padding is very large it actually fills the entire space and i'm usually not a big cup pad girl but i really feel like i want to leave these ones in so the top is super super cute again the only top in this collection and then the shirt i really like the shirt literally this is like a casual version from target and i'd literally been thinking i wanted something like this for the gym so i gotta say small in everything you see here and so i feel like it fits really true to size um i'm pretty much a true small and bottoms i'm between a size small and medium up top so I technically size down or if I'm in between sizes I went from a smaller one. I feel like everything fits really really well. Even this top is in a true size small. It is very tight around your arms but I didn't feel like it was a problem with working out lower body. I took it off when I was working upper body because I just want a little bit more freedom. But these shirts are so cute. Again really minimal branding. They have like the smallest Gymshark branding down here. Um, again exact same material as the rest of the outfit and i just think it makes the set so cute those are all my thoughts i really love these pieces but now we have to pick if i want the canyon red or the petal pink so we're gonna try both of them on and see which one i like better hopefully the fact it's getting dark outside doesn't really change this too much let's move the chair so this is a canyon red color i actually really really love note i am tan right now i did just go on vacation but i feel like this looks so good with my skin color i really like it i don't really have this color in anything else i feel like it makes me look tanner i don't know Andrew! Look at this outfit on me. I'm trying to decide. You can turn the light on. I can't see anything. Well, I'll mess up the lighting a little bit, but. Ugh! Ugh! The lighting! Thoughts. I like it. I mean, it's the exact same as the green one. I know, but. Color one. Color two. So, okay, so I like that color more. I definitely like, I think I like that color more. Really? I, I do like the color less. Very but the fit of that whole thing is, is, is way more flattering. What do you mean? Like the whole no, the the, the shirt? No, they're not. The whole shirt. Oh, does it have a shirt oh, thing? It also has a shirt. Oh, 
Oh, I was like, well, the bra, th like the top is different. Oh, it's like a two layer. It's a two for one. It's just three pieces, actually. You buy them all individually. Um. This is also what I thought I was gonna do. I was gonna do one matching set this, and whichever one I kept, I was gonna keep the opposite color t-shirt. Like, yeah, t-shirt is cool, period. If I kept this one, I was gonna keep this shirt. All things considered, I think the first one. All things considered? All things considered that. Definitely the green one, the mint, mint whatever. Well, I already worked on the green, so we can't give it back. So this is second color. Again, I don't know if this is squat proof though. That might be the only thing I'm wearing. Nude undies, so. I'll put it on the screen or you'll be able to tell it's squat proof. I'm Even also, though this I'm color is like, very beautiful, but it is so light. If you're not tan. Yeah, I and know. And you wear that one, I was like, that Tasty. one would be weird. But yeah, but then, I feel like the other one makes me look more tan. Yeah, but the other two, I'm like, good either way. Okay. I love, I love this set though, like, really cute. His husband approved too. He said it's really cute. Unless anything changes, I think I'll keep the canyon red, but I'm going to keep the opposite. So this color top okay we have one more thing to try and i i don't know if we're gonna like it okay so we are trying the eyelash set why did i think it was gonna have pockets it doesn't have pockets this is a pair of shorts with a bandeau top so this is that fuzzy material edge and it's the same material on the inside as it is the outside so you can definitely feel it on the inside and outside I did think it felt a little bit itchy when I first felt it. It doesn't really feel itchy on. It feels nice, but I could explain more about it. I guess this is a review, but these are nice and supportive. It definitely like hugs you in. It is definitely supportive. And the material is not as uncomfortable as I thought it was going to be. Ew. <laughs> I just saw it. I know. <laughs> That's disgusting. Disgusting? Okay, that's, you shouldn't say anything where it's disgusting. No, like the fabric. Like that would be disgusting to wear. Like, oh, this doesn't feel that bad. Yeah. Never mind, that doesn't feel that bad. Eh. Okay, the length, Bermuda, high rise Bermuda. Like, that's social suicide. And then this is actually, I feel like this is kind of cute. I don't know, is it workout? No, it's not. It would just be like lounging. Okay, I need to, I need to but do Okay, I feel like time. I wouldn't wear this outside of the house. Like, I, I don't know a venue I would wear this. A venue? Like I don't know where I would wear oh, this. Oh, like an actual establishment. Embarrassed. I don't know. I mean, I like don't... it's a cute like. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel cute around the house and my skims. If I'm lounging around the house, I don't want tight fitting things for the most part. I want loose fitting things. So to have two tight fitting things, even though I thought it was gonna look really bad on me, I don't think this looks this bad on me. I think it looks cute. I think I could be a cutie, no, like doesn't... skims girl, but I don't know if I want to be. It doesn't look bad. It just is bad. Okay. Anywho, I'm running out of time, which means- Okay, well, my camera just died, which means the video is over. It didn't die. I'm using it right now. The memory ran out, which means it's time to stop rambling. I don't love this set. I'm definitely going to return it. I have no place to wear this. I'm just a big t-shirt girl around the house. And okay, that means, wow, we're really done. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.